All right, so we need to talk about this. LeBron James self-inflicted hand injury. Sources telling ESPN he suffered it punching a whiteboard in the locker room after Cleveland's game one loss. A closer look at the swelling during game four. Obviously, Beatle, Jalen. Is his two. left hand way bigger than his right hand? Well, it's swollen. No, but like. As a result of the punching of the whiteboard. No, but I thought it was his right hand that had the cast on. Right? But doesn't his left hand look huge? Maybe that's just the way. Maybe that What's is. What's going on right here? Hand. Have we discovered something? Oh, anyways, go on. One way or another. What do we make of this? You guys were there when mm -hmm. all this was happening. Um, and, you know, the world was reacting sort of real time, but you were right in the middle of it all. What did you make of this, the injury and the revelation after the fact of how it happened? About as dramatic as Robert De Niro when he takes the stage. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, how about the Tonys. That? Here's the thing. For LeBron James, it was a self-inflicted injury, so the opponents or the media or fans won't feel sorry for you. It was after historic performance. We had 51 points. That's only happened six times in the NBA Finals. However, when you come to the podium and you now have on a cast, you're just going to have people like me like, really? And that, Why? Tell me why. B b because I don't want to hear somebody play with a partially or considered to be close to a broken hand. You know why? I have a broken hand, as a matter of fact. You know what I got in my hand right now? I got a plate and five screws. I have a broken, I had a, I broke in my fourth metacarpal. And I actually played with a glove, with a cast on top of it right after it healed, and my hand looked 100% worse than that one. I'm no LeBron James, and again, he lost to the Warriors and he lost to the whiteboard. I understand that, but ultimately, they got swept. What did you take? I, I just, it's so, it's just so dramatic. I mean, you could have waited 20 minutes to put the little cast on. <laughs> like, that, that's the bottom line, is if it, if it was so bad, where was the cast after game one? Game two, game three. So now you're gonna do it after game four. You just got swept. P.S. I don't know a single human being in the world who had a negative thing to say about the play of LeBron James. So you don't need sympathy in that regard. If anything, we already gave you a bunch of sympathy because of the team that you were stuck with. That being said, the cast could have been put on the minute you left the arena. Live your life. I'm sure somebody would have caught wind of it. We would have heard about this story am amazingly at some point or another. Wendy would have told us. But to do it that way, so it's just forcing the, oh, what happened to your hand? And eh, just And then when the reality of it turns drama. out to be what it turns out to be, look, the frustration after game one is completely excusable. Totally. I did not have an issue with him being mad at, at Ty Lue if he was, or mad at JR, or mad at whoever he was. But at some point, I mean, Amari Stoudemire, part of his entire tenure with the Knicks is defined by the fact <laughs> he took himself out of a playoff series by punching a, a fire extinguisher in, in Miami. frustration in Miami. When and that was the end of that. that. Uh -huh. So my point is, does he open himself up to extraordinary criticism if indeed his play was genuinely hampered the last three games of that series? LeBron James is so very strategic. Okay, and he understands how to shape the narrative. And for those of us who are going to look deeper into it and understand that we felt like it was a dramatic play, there will be those fans, Greeny, that also make the argument that he's on the level of Michael Jordan that will say, not only did he drag these Cleveland Cavaliers to the NBA Finals, but he also was doing it with a busted hand. That will become a part of the narrative for most people. That would be a ridiculous part of the narrative, <laughs> candidly, because he didn't drag them there with the broken hand. They didn't win a single game. They were barely in a single game well, he also when he had, had the broken triple hand. triple doubles with, uh, I guess, with the broken hand now. So, again, no one was knocking LeBron James. You didn't need a sympathy card. We already gave you sympathy. But then you bring out a prop? Like, I what agree, are we doing? I, I agree with you. I'm not rolling with that. And But just think about the peaks and valleys that this Cleveland Cavaliers team endured. They had two seven-game series, and they were involved in two sweeps. So that just lets you know how LeBron James did elevate that situation, but the Eastern Conference also is a lesser one than the Western Conference. Oh, for sure. Which is why if Chris Paul was healthy, I think, A, the Rockets would have beaten the Warriors, so all of this would have looked different, but B, I hope Adam Silver considers to now allow the two best basketball teams to actually meet in the NBA Finals. We didn't get that this year. That, that's a possibility. Uh, look, LeBron's greatness, to me, was only elevated by what he did in this postseason. This whole little finish here struck me as a very strange thing. <laughs>